Welcome back to Tech Teacher here. This is going to be the third lesson. Now this is a fairly long one so and a little bit difficult for newcomers but just pay attention. I think that if you do this as the more you do this the more you will understand it. Um, so let's just go ahead. First thing I want to do is I want to go into this drawer, the middle drawer, create a sprite. And you'll notice that when I hit this little bar I go back into the main area. So I want you to go into the things folder because inside the things folder there's lots of little prizes that we can give our cat. And I think for the purpose of this lesson the cheese puffs will do us just fine. Of course cats probably don't like cheese puffs. However, now this bowl is a little bit too big so I want you to grab the shrink sprite and click on it about 20 times to get it to about the right size. Okay, just keep clicking. Now you have to click outside the area so that uh, we can get our pointer back and move it into place. Now, I want to copy, I want to name this prize one because we're going to clone this and make a prize two. Great. Go into our, get our clone tool, hit select and drag it over into place. And we're going to name this, instead of Sprite 1, we're going to name it Prize 2. You'll see why later on. Good. Now we're ready to write the script. Now you remember, the player already has these four scripts that can change the way the player moves around the, the stage. I'm going to place them down here. We'll call this our start area right now. And... We're going to program him so that he, when he touches the cheese puffs, prize one, he's going to make a meow sound and the cheese puffs will disappear. So let's do that. First, I have to go into the control and I'm going to start the game when I click this green flag. Okay. Now, by the way, up here are three different controls. I can hit this button here and I can give myself much more area to program, but this is enough for now. This area here is when I play the game. It's called presentation mode. It's a little bit tricky to get out of presentation mode. There's a little exit arrow here, and that'll take us back. So let's continue. I'm going to grab something called a forever. And in programming language, this is called a loop because it loops the instructions over and over again. And I need a condition, an if statement. So I grab a forever and I put an if inside it. I go into the sensing drawer, which is this light blue drawer, and I grab this first tile and I drop it right inside here. And if it's touching, if the cat, if the player is touching the first prize, what's going to happen? Well, I want him to make a sound. So the first thing I need to do, well, already the cat sound is here, but I'll show you how to get it. You go into import and inside the animals folder right here is our cat yeah. sound and there it is and I'm gonna say okay I actually brought it in twice now that it's in there I go into the sound drawer and I play the sound until done see that now let's try it out first I have to hit the green flag and I'm just gonna position my cat right here and you'll see that when he touches yeah. See that? He, he meows. Okay? Great. It's working. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like this prize one, this one right here, to disappear. So, again, we have to sort of, the, the script is very similar. When the right click is, when the uh, green flag is clicked, we forever, we write a forever statement. Actually, in this case, we can put forever if. And if, if the cheese puffs are touching our player, I want to go into the looks drawer now, and I want the cheese puffs to disappear. And the way we do that is by changing its color. And how do we do that? We go in, we change it to ghost effect. And ghosting by about, I guess, 10 
because what'll happen, it'll just continue to disappear. So I'm going to hit my green flag and I'm going to move my cat over and down and let's see what happens. Yeah. It disappears. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Now what we have to do is the same code for prize two. You see, prize two has no script. So watch what I do here. I just, here I'm going to click to stop it. I just grab the whole piece of code and I put it over. Now you see that little gray area just, it means now that I've transferred the script. And we have, let's, now I'm going to cheat and go over, watch what happens when it touches. Ah, do you know why? Because the green flag is not clicked. Do you see that? And it disappeared. Okay. Now, one more thing. You'll notice that the cat did not make any noise. And that's the, the reason for that is because I'm going to select my player. You see, we've only added the code for touching prize one. So we need to right click on this if and duplicate it and drag it right down below. Whoops, I, it's a little bit confusing. It has to be a it has to be a block right below. And all I'm going to do is if touch if touching prize 2, it's going to do the same thing and you see it will disappear. <coughs> well, of course, you, we can't see it, but there's still a prize there. You see <coughs> the cat saying meow. All right, great. I know this is a pretty hard one for people who have never, for students who have never seen Scratch before, but if you slow down the um, movie and just take it step by step, you'll learn a lot in this first lesson.